Hi Leo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 4th to the 10th of May 2020. I hope you're all well and safe and thank you for coming back and if you're a new viewer welcome to the uh, the channel and if you would like to be a cyber angel because you'll hear the word cyber angel a drop in a minute then please join us in the life and then you'll be initiated and the life is also known as the tea room and thank you very much cyber angel for angels for coming back and being a faithful follower and thank you for sharing and subscribing and hitting the bell on all so that you can be notified so that you can be notified when uh, we go I go live or when new videos are loaded up so everybody's welcome new people new viewers as well if you subscribe and hit the bell and hit on all then you'll be notified when I go live or when new videos are loaded up I give away free cards and I also answer questions after a donation and that could be a super chat or a super sticker if you would like an extended reading one-on-one -on -one, then please look below the video uh, in the description box and there you will find information but you'll find more information on the website so you can go to the website and or you can click on this little white dot and it will take you to the website and you can find all kinds of information uh, on the website also previews interviews you name it and the other side of me the life coach okay let's get started with the reading I'm using the wild unknown tarot today and I'm also using the angel feather Archangel Michael and the uh, healing uh, power of the angels and of course the crystal ball I did clean it before I s uh, laid out the spread and I'm going to do um, um, a life uh, Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, how do you call it? I'm going to try to. I'm going to per perceive life on video for you. What the crystal ball is saying, and then I'm going to go to the deck and see whether it corresponds. Okay. Okay, Leo. Now let's have a look. I do see a sunlight for you, and I also see a clock, and it says quarter past seven quarter past seven so that might mean that you might be meeting or coming home at quarter past seven but it could be something could be happening at quarter past seven I'm going to note that down see whether it res resonates so that's quarter past seven I also see uh, travel and this could be to India or Africa because it looks like the a tooth of a tiger it look it could be India or Africa Africa or India you might have a business there or you might just go on holiday there when the lockdown is over or you might have connections with uh, these countries cyber connections because I also see something drifting in the sky and it's, it looks like a bird so perhaps you're corresponding and news a bird so let's have a look I'm also seeing a keyhole on this side just the, the circular top there and then the square triangle underneath joined together so it's a keyhole so there might be a new uh, opening for you or there might be a key to something a key an answer an answer to something that that will be the key somebody might give you a key to solving an issue or a problem I know it sounds crazy but these messages come in abstract sometimes they come really across crazy but that's why um, it is also nice to see what the cards say um, then you c might get a clearer picture because it's it, when you're um, a medium or when you're interacting with the 
other spheres or uh, people that have passed over um, they can come and talk in I call it brabble tau, a brabble language, broken language. They might just give you keys, words, uh, visions. I also see a wheel. I see a wheel. So you might get uh, something with new with a wheel. That could be a car, could be bike, a motorbike, but it is definitely a wheel. And I also see maps, maps, and wheel. Okay, I think that's a lot of information in about four or five minutes. You know, the circle is prominent here. The circle is prominent here. Now I'm going to shake the cards so that you know that I don't cheat and I don't sort them out like I always uh, say oops well that's decided to be like that There you go, one from the top, the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, I saw a circle, okay. Uh, the Four of, uh, uh, five, Six of Ones, the Six of Ones. One from the bottom, and you have the Nine of Ones. And it's like a staircase, you've been climbing, but it's been pretty difficult. And one from the middle. The Two of Cups, Emotional Balance, a Soulmate. And what have we got underneath? Oh, that looks nice. That is the Daughter of Wands. The Daughter of Wands. So that's the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is also known as Sagittarius. Um, Aries is King, Leo is the Queen. Okay, let's have a look. Right, you, you've been beginning the week with the Ten of Pentacles upside down. I do read reversals, some people don't, but I do. So you might not be very happy at the moment. You might be away from somebody, a doozy circles. Okay. It doesn't, it, when it's like this, it means happy families inheritance, uh, pay rise, um, promotion, going on to the next level, moving home, uh, expansion in the family, could be a child or a dog. But we had, uh, let's have a look, uh, Leo, we had Africa, India, bird, key, quarter past, quarter past. No, we, there's, um, um, there isn't an ending to a situation because it's upside down, okay? Um, you might be depressed, you might be fed up, you might feel locked in. Um, but there, there is no ending as such yet. Then you have the Six of Wands. And usually in the traditional tarot, this is a man on a horse or a knight on a horse. Uh, carrying the wand, uh, one of the wands, and that is with the wreath of victory. So you've got victory in midweek. So in the in the beginning of the week, you are stuck. You might uh, have expected uh, a gift or money or a loan or something, or happy happy times, an ending to something. But it is not beginning at the beginning of the week, but definitely midweek there is a victory so that means an ending you are going onwards and upwards you've got public recognition so there will be a promotion there will be advancement there could also be travel um, moving home or going on holiday there's your travel okay there's your wheel
You might had uh, might have to readjust at the beginning of the week um, to make it turn around like this. Uh, readjust your plans because there is a lockdown, so you can't travel. But perhaps midweek you will be able to travel because this reading is for the fourth till the tenth. So um, yeah, uh, th so the fourth is Monday, fifth on Tuesday, six on Wednesday. So around the sixth, the seventh, you might be travelling. It still will be difficult though, because um, there's not too, of course there will be still lockdown in certain countries, and uh, it might need a specific reason uh, for you to go to this country. Perhaps. Uh, business or uh, somebody's health um, because this card also means it's the ten of pentacles inheritance it could mean somebody's health is seriously uh, not well it's upside down there is an ending though and there is a new beginning like I said midweek there is victory so you might get victory to be able to travel on Friday if you wish to one of these places because you are traveling okay there will be success where there is an ending there is also a new beginning don't give up this late in in in, in the stage uh, because you're nearly there the new beginning is there could be a loved one because it is um, the two of cups and you might feel you might be soulmates, but you might also be uh, the same type or the same zodiac sign. Who knows? It is two means balance, and two of cups means emotional balance. Your emotional uh, self uh, balance, um, like in the uh, in the, but you're not a dual na nationality, but uh, not not nationality, a uh, dual sign, like Gemini, Libra, or Pisces. But there could be a Pisces involved because it is the cups, and the 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 two of cups means a soulmate, so it could be a soulmate, and a soulmate doesn't necessarily have to be a love partner. It, a soulmate is somebody that feels the same as you, thinks the same as you. Uh, you can find uh, equality and balance with this person. It could even be a father or a mother that you feel very close to, like two peas in a pod. There is a lot of love between you, okay? So perhaps they need your uh, support in this difficult time, or perhaps it could be uh, a, 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 new, a relationship in love or in business that is not going very well and you need to go and sort this out and bring in a refreshment, a new beginning. We've also got the Daughter of Wands, so that's the Page of Wands. Um, you will be getting news from somebody. This could be a fire sign. Okay. Now you've got um, because the the page is uh, Sagittarius, but don't exclude uh, Aries or Leo. Now um, you are Leo, Leo, so. Uh, yeah, it could be another Leo, it could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. Uh, that is uh, your soul mate. Awesome. But you do have victory and you do have a new beginning. Okay. So y if you are traveling, like I said, news, that is your news. That's the, That could be the bird. Uh, could be the bird could be through cyber email text message or telephone call you hold the key to success okay you um, don't give up now you are in your strength you have come you found the balance also emotional balance within yourself that's why you are in your strength you can make this card turn around to success especially midweek because you've got public recognition and you've got the light you have seen the light so you've seen the light at the end of the tunnel you've been manifesting um, this success awesome okay Leo you are quite powerful little ma a person <laughs> okay and you've got light literally figuratively you've seen it you've got that energy 
the fire energy as well you've got you have persevered you are a tough cookie okay physical body protection golden gold mash shields up so you are it's saying the Archangel Michael card is saying he's giving you the golden mash shield for your physical body protection Archangel Michael suggests the golden mash protection technique to bring security and harmony to your energy field like I said you've persevered you're emotionally in balance but this could also be in love or partnerships in work your soulmate then you have the purple angel feather okay channel divine grace there you go and I'm going to give you a gemstone and the meaning a deeper meaning and a gemstone and Archangel Gabriel represent is representing the or this card represents Archangel Metatron Gabriel, Michael, uh, all the angels, Raphael, uh, Sandalfon, delivering and answering prayers, and also Sadkil. And Archangel Raphael uh, is the angel of prayers, and Michael is delivering and answering prayers as well. So that your prayers are being heard. The angels acknowledge that you have an intense psychic ability and call upon you for spiritual service and visionary leadership within the world well we are talking about travel here so you might have to travel could be for spiritual reasons the purple angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of divine grace and spiritual attunement as a light worker you are powerful and passionate individual subconsciously you are aware of your destiny destined spiritual higher purpose you have a great understanding of visible and invisible realms the angels call upon you to channel grace to others through prayer deeds hands on or distant meanings the gemstone that you can use or crystals is amethyst Fluorite, Charite, Purpurite, and Iolite. Wow, magic. And you've got one, two, three, four, five, six angels all together. And you've got two, uh, Angel Michael is in both of these cards. Sandalfon, Raphael, uh, Subkiel, <coughs> uh, Raphael, and Gabriel. You've got the three of the angelic ra uh, round table angels. Uh, of course, the other one is Ariel, but he's not included there. So you've got mega power and mega protection. The golden card is also showing you confirmation. You've got mega protection. You can make it to the beginning. You'll put, you might be tired, so take rest when you can. But you are in balance emotionally mentally and physically so I hope you've read uh, enjoyed this reading Leo and take care uh, the, uh, ah there we go quarter past seven the early bird catches the first worm that just shot in and go early to bed early to bed early to rise keeps men healthy wealthy and wise I don't know why that's coming in but there you go that is your message and I will keep the title on the early bird catches the worm I hope you've enjoyed the reading please share and like uh, with family and friends and I hope to see you in the life ciao ciao